Hey guys, over the past several weeks I've been doing a redesign of my bug out bag. And for those of you that have watched me, you know that I've been making several purchases on things like knives and wet fire and signal flares and water filters. And all these things have been really great for me to have, but when it comes down to it, they're fairly insufficient for a survival situation. The thing that I really need to have is knowledge. Uh, that's the key item that I need, such as what's in this uh, book, the SAS Survival Handbook. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I do not have this book memorized at all. I barely have a fraction of it memorized. And this isn't the only book in town. I'd like to have books on uh, first aid, emergency first aid, and uh, the cooking in the Great Depression, and other things such as, let's get this out of the way, I might want to have some, some pleasure reading, just some, some books that I like to read. And uh, maybe I'd like to have a game of Sudoku in a bug out scenario that it could keep me entertained. Uh, maybe a book on computer hardware. A recipe book. Perhaps uh, books on uh, manuals on auto repair. There's just tons of things to have and I can't carry all those with me. So over the past several weeks I've been doing a lot of research on e-readers. And the two that I've been debating on have been the Amazon Kindle and the Barnes and Noble Nook. And I've been going back and forth on the debate on these two e-readers. And, you know, I have had a hard time trying to make a decision on which one to get. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. You know, for the Amazon Kindle, you know, I really liked the the long battery life that was on it. I, you know, in a bug out scenario, I'm not going to have, I might not have uh, the resources to charge it. And this thing, you know, is advertised up to a month on a single charge. And what I really liked about the Nook is, you know, the battery life was about a third of what the Amazon Kindle was. But what I really liked about it is that it had expandable you know, memory. So I could add micro SD cards into this thing and just have a, just a plethora of different resources that I could have on this. And this, you know, these things just weigh ounces. They don't even weigh a pound. So, you know, which for me, it would be a lot better to have one of these than to have a book. You know, I could fit a lot more things in my bug out bag. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of different research on it, going back and forth, haven't been able to make up a decision. And then today, I, I, I've been going, I went to Barnes and Nobles actually yesterday and was talking with them and they said, hey, wait, don't make any decisions right now because uh, tomorrow they're going to come up with a big announcement. And so today uh, I went to Barnes & Noble website and they came out with a new Nook. And this Nook is, instead of having the touch screen here, or here and then this is just a static screen, the whole screen now is touch screen. They don't have a keyboard on there like the Amazon Kindle. And, uh, you know, it supports larger uh, micro SD cards, 32 gigabit, and it's lighter, smaller, and it, and it was just, uh, for me, it was just kind of game over. You know, these two, done. So now, what I wanted to have, and what I'm planning on doing for my bug out bag on my personal and entertainment compartment, is having an e-reader with a bug out library. And so that, that would allow me to have all of these books. Actually, not just these books. I could have hundreds and thousands of books. And I could have manuals such as this one on uh, Thoughts on Urban Survival, Life Post-Collapse, Argentina, 2005. I could, uh, so I could have thousands of these with me. And not just that, I could also have, you know, different family photos that I might want to bring with me in an electronic form. Might want to have uh, some bikini photos of Linda Carter with me. I might want to have, you know, my CD collection that's recently been uh, transferred over to MP3. So I want to have all those with me. I want to have my movie collection with me in electronic form. All these things I can now have with the Nook, the new Nook especially. And I could have all of that stored into something as small as this and as light as this, which is a micro SD card. This is a 2 gigabit. The, the new Nook supports 32 gigabit. So what I'm planning on doing in future videos is to create a bug out library and have all of those stored in micro SD cards. So of course I'm going to have to have a way of protecting those cards. They, they have Pelican type cases that are waterproof that are meant specifically for these kind of cards. And there's other ones in town. There's a, this is a different SD, micro SD card holder. So this is going to be a, a new set of videos that I could have uh, called 
you know, the bug out library and using the Nook as a bug out tool with all my information, everything you see here, stored in just a micro SD card. So after I, I, of course, you know, I don't know everything about all every single book that would be good on first aid, on survival in the woods, survival in the urban scenarios, PDFs on past experiences, uh, uh, nuclear survival skills, all of that. I don't have all that memorized, so I, I'm going to be asking you guys for help on this. So as a lot of you know, I currently have a giveaway con contest going on right now. As soon as this one is done, I have a new contest for you where there'll be a new set of prizes, and I'm going to have you guys help me create a bug out library that I could have on the Barnes and Noble Nook. And I could, and you know, if I wanted to, I could have the Library of Congress on here. So, and I'm just under the, you know, the feeling that in a bug out scenario, you know, this knowledge is going to be, you know, this is a, the, the Nook is uh, advertised for 139 bucks. So, in a bug out scenario, what's going to be more, more valuable? You know, some paper currency, 140 bucks or every single book and informational resource that you would need in an emergency situation all stored on something that's less than eight ounces. So, I mean, for me, the answer is really clear that in a bug out scenario, I want to have the, you know, a bug out library stored on something like the Amazon, the Barnes and Noble Nook, which by the way, has a battery life of two months, which is just awesome. Uh, you know, you, and there's you know, alternate ways of charging this if it goes past two months, but that's just absolutely incredible to have. So this is going to be a new set of videos that I'm hoping that you guys will follow along with and, and help me get ideas. You know, if you so if you want to, you know, get your own uh, nook and kind of follow along with me, that'd be even better. And then we could it's a collaboration. You know, this whole YouTube and prepping is just a big collaboration between all of us bouncing ideas off each other. And you know, I'm just trying to implement some of it. So I, I made my order today. I got it pre-ordered. Yeah, the ex expected ship date is going to be June 10th. So in the meantime, I have a lot of uh, research and information to find to build up my bug out library. So I, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, leave comments on this, maybe express some different ideas, and kind of follow along with this new set of videos that I'm going to be coming out with. And uh, yeah, yeah, please leave constructive comments. Thank you again for all the support on my channel. And I'm really looking forward to building up my bug out library on the Barnes & Noble Nook, the new one that just came out today. Uh, supports micro SD, two month battery life, touch screen, all in the size of this. And I could have all this information and thousands more stored on it. So I'm really excited about this and I'm curious on what your guys' thoughts on this are as well. So I'll talk with you guys more later. Bye.